Hey guys, today I want to talk about friendship and magic and whether or not your magic friends are your real friends and should you need help, would they help you? Now I really thought about this issue when I was reading that the LSV and Channel Fireball with uh, Huey Jensen and Reed Duke uh, decided to make a team without Owen Turnerwall. Um, historically and Obviously, they're referencing a Chinese historical event, the Peach Brother Oath, Peach Garden Oath. Um, Huey Jensen, Reed Duke, and Owen Turnerwald have always been linked together. And to see them make an esports team, because it's an esport team, which means that they can also do Hearthstone, right? Wouldn't you get the guy called Owen, who is now our Hearthstone Pro, who was your best friend? Um, he's appeared on many videos with LSV. He's appeared on many uh, Channel Fireball articles and videos. Um, he was one of their biggest names. He was an NPL member. I mean, he's a Hall of Fame member with Yuya Watanabe. Uh, the list goes on. I'm, in terms of magic, he was probably the number one magic player. And now he's a nobody in Hearthstone. So this Channel Fireball could help him out. Um, definitely, they could put him on the team. And that would help him, you know, get sponsorships, fans. Right now, I mean, basically went from $250,000 to $0 um, in terms of income. And in Hearthstone, he's not going to make it without help. And it's the same with Magic, right? LSV and now Gabby's on the team and Huey Jensen. These are just people who have always played Magic and they all know each other. Just like Alex Pacini and Rachel and, I mean... There's a reason Alex Bacini wasn't banned until he cheated for the 18th million time. It's because he knew everyone who would ban him. Uh, Drew Levin and even the people who have left Magic, they are just still very well connected uh, into the scene. And that's what has always um, surprised me a little bit about Magic the Gathering, how fickle their friendships actually are when you put them to the test. Like Yuya Watanabe, all these pros. I mean, he was an NPL member. And these pros like Ben Stark turned on him on a dime. They went after him. And yes, I believe he cheated. But nonetheless, you know, sometimes it's kind of like the NFL. Uh, you might think that QB got paid too much. But since you want to be paid a lot, since you want to cheat, you keep your mouth shut, right? Uh, but they were very vocal on Yuya Watanabe. I think at the very end of the day, um, they should ask Owen if Owen is to have a redemption arc in Magic, this would be the perfect way to allow him to come back to Magic. Now, many of you will say, maybe, why, why do we need Owen to come back to Magic? And this gets to my um, topic. So, when I play Magic, um, there might, and it's the same with my marketing business. A lot of it's actually more so because I do more marketing than play magic nowadays. Um, so I'll give you the marketing example, which is exactly the same as magic. Um, people want to be your friend, they want to hang out with you, but time is valuable. And as you grow up and you, as you grow older and older, you have less and less friends. It's because you're busy, they're busy, and more to the point, I mean. If I had to be completely honest with you, um, it comes down to, I guess your tolerance level decreases as you get older because you know what you want more. So for me, uh, my magic friends are my magic friends. I don't pretend that they're my real friends because uh, they're not. Um, it's really that simple. Um, there's no Peach Brother O Garden Oaths. Uh, there's no, you know, friendships for life with Conley Woods and uh, so on. Uh, a friend is someone who, even if you're wrong, they will support you because they believe that you are more good than evil and that you will make up for your mistakes down the line. Uh, that's what a friend means to me. And a friend is, uh, you're not going to find many actual friends in life. Let me tell you that. Um, when I was in high school, I had one friend in high school, like one friend. I mean, there were people who would consider me their friend, but they weren't, right? So we don't hang out after school once a week or once a month. We're not friends. We can be school friends, right? Friends in school, but never see each other after. And um, that's what I, the story I'm going to tell you is 
I went to NYU, and NYU is in New York City, so a lot of my high school friends wanted to stay over my place. And I mean, New York City, yeah, it's a very cool place to stay, but it's very expensive. And when you're young and you know in college, you want to visit NYU because it's a great city. It's a great school to visit. It's a great place to visit. So I would get requests by these so-called friends all the time. Hey, and even even like it was sickening almost to me because these were people who would never invite me to after-school events or any of that. But now they want to hang out with me and spend the weekend with me. And I'm like, no, I'm busy. I have new friends at NYU. And at NYU, I was very popular. Um, I taught 14 classes of chemistry, a teaching assistant of 14 classes. I did 14 orientations. Um, and yeah, basically, if there was something I wanted at NYU, it's pretty much on a platter for me to get. So the problem was I had too many friends. And, and that's a problem. Um, and then when I went to law school, I was the head of my fraternity, my le- uh, law school fraternity, which also had a undergrad campus of uh, pre-law fraternity uh, chapter. And, you know, it, it was interesting. Um, I, NYU doesn't have fraternity life, really. Um, so it was interesting to go to college where fraternities mean a lot more than anything I could have imagined. So in life, you have a few friends. Um, and all those friends I had at NYU, well, I mean, yeah, winter Houston, we'll, I'll, we'll grab dinner, we'll grab lunch, but they're not important to my life or my goals or, um, to be quite honest, they're not even as important as dog or cat. My dog and cat is far more important than the majority of friends I have in these schools. Because that's the key here. Your magic friends where you just play magic with, they're not... You don't spend as much time as you spend with your employees, your co-workers, your boss. These are the people that you spend hours and hours with. I mean, in terms of a work week, you spend 40-hour work week, right? Sometimes For us, it's sometimes longer. And that's the relationships that you really want to foster and you want to grow because those are the people you see all the time. Uh, in my opinion, if you don't see a friend once a month for it. I mean, unless there's like some circumstance or on vacation or something, um, that's probably not a real friend. Um, and all of this internet friend and gibberish, like that doesn't mean anything to me. Like when the man of source says, you're all my friends, every community member is my friend. When he's never seen you and you've only donated money to him. Um, and I, apparently there's an incident, I'm not going to make another video on it, but he did not send out the cards the extra dark cards that he was supposed to send out. And I, I would talk to someone and I was like, you know what? I can't really make a video about that because at the end of the day, like, what do you expect? He doesn't send out cards to his patrons. Why would he send out the extra doors to you? Because you donate any money to a charity of his choice? Come on. That's making sense. Like, it's so illogical that he would do that. He would send cards to you when you, he has a net zero income when people have been paying him seven months, 70 plus dollars, and he won't even send them cards. So, yeah. Basically, the internet culture has created all these false friendships. I, I don't believe Owen Turnwall or LSV or uh, Huey Jensen or Reed Duke were actually friends. This is not how friends behave. I will be frank with you. Out of my four close friends, if one of us got in that situation and I believe my friend was innocent, I would help them get out of it. If I believe my friend was guilty, we would, you know, together solve the problem. Maybe he does a little bit of jail time. Who really knows? But um, at the end of the day, we will be there for him after he pays his debt to society, whatever that price might be. Um, it's not my right to determine what that price is for Owen if there is a price at all, but we would not create an esports team. If we were like Magic the players, we would not create an esports team and, un- and not have him invited. It just looks so awkward, and he really needs someone to help him. Um, so friends make mistakes, and in fact, you know, a good friend would have stopped him from getting drunk and harassing women, which he admits. That's not me. That's him. 
a good friend would be like, you know, a good friend who spends a lot of time with you would see what's going on and say, hey, Owen, you dude, you got to get your act together and steer him away from things or that are bad. Um, and you can hear any NFL star, any NBA store, star, um, a lot of them make money mistakes because they have bad friends. And the ones that have really good friends, um, Shannon Sharp always talks about it, um, they, you know, st- stick up for them and they tell them hey this is a bad dude you gotta stay away or you're drunk or you're gonna get in trouble a good friend thinks about their friend's safety and protects the friend from potential harm the guy playing at your FNM I know that you like him and you think you're friends with him but when trouble hits the fan nada so uh, be careful uh, be careful who you're friends with in Magic because Magic is a very expensive hobby. And, you know, EDH decks can run thousands of dollars depending on what's in them. My guess is those people, if they really needed money, they would not, they would not hesitate to rob you. That's just my guess. Anyway... Hopefully, that was a lot off my chest. I just wanted to say there are so many fake people out there. And I don't consider, like, unless I've seen you in person and we hang out and we eat and we have a good time, you're not really my true friend. Bye.